unboxing of a tiny one camera. This is a camera which is invented in the Asia and Singapore, I think, just for being sensitive uh, and usable in astrophotography. Let's see. Okay, let's see what is inside here. Hmm. Lots of interesting things. Is a wire? Oh, that's the camera. I have to use both my hands. So, let's open it. Mm. Oh, lots of attachments. This is an attachment, I think, for attaching the camera body to a DSLR lens. This is the attachment for using with a eyepiece in a focuser of a telescope. This is another attachment that you can use and attach the camera to a lens. Oh, this is a looks like a telephoto lens. Tiny mops again, and that's the main lens of the camera. And that is the camera itself. Oh, quite solid. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the earliest ones. Let's see how it is. Mm. it works okay I pressed that okay I pressed it now it just starts hello world mm. that's impressive Deep space uh, view. There's a kind of uh, screensaver. Oh, no, it's alive. It came to life. Oh, it has a guide to the constellations as they are. So if I look at this direction. Yeah, it shows me that the constellation in the view is hmm, Deneb. Okay, that's the uh, Leo and uh, Virgo, but that is we know that that will be visible in the day, in the night, not the daylight at the spring. So let's see how we can operate with this. Okay, I've removed the lens cap. It finds the stars. When you point it to the sky, it finds the stars and just um, you know adapts it to itself, and then. Uh, with the GPS, it knows your location and everything. This is like a proper computer. That's amazing. You can use it like a normal camera also. Okay, you can actually adjust, uh, zoom it, uh, I'm sorry, uh, focus it by just turning the lens. It's like a old style cameras. Very interesting. And you're looking through the camera. And in the video mode, you see that. I actually found this way around the sky. So that is the moon, which is true now. The moon is there. And uh, that's Ketus. That's the constellation, the Eridanus. And you can see, if I turn it, you can see Arnab. And that's the rabbit constellation. And this is the Orion. So quite accurate, amazing camera. I have to test it in the night. You can see the 
the red lines you see around the object is for focusing purpose. And I'm now using the fish eye lens, which is really good. And uh, I've used it for a telephoto lens and a normal lens, and all of them are good. And the only thing is that the resolution, I don't think that's big enough. But anyway, it's the low light at the moment I'm working on, working with the simplest mode. And I may try it with a different setting just to see how it is. But so far, so good. I'm learning, I reset it, factory reset, and everything looks all right. Okay, I have now asked the tiny one to find the Mars. And he's actually pointing to where I can find the Mars. And here you are, it found the Mars for me. Although it is daylight, as you can see, it can point to it in the sky. Now, with a Pentax or Canon K attachment, I was able to actually attach this uh, tiny one camera to a spotinoscope, a bush, uh, bush and loam spotinoscope. I have a now a telephoto lens, longer than what the originally came with this. So, let's see how it is. Train of the order of camera to spotinoscope which use, uh, I'm using now as a telephoto lens is from spotinoscope the attachment for the spotinoscope the attachment which actually you can connect it to a DSLR uh, lens automatic lens or manual lens this Canon uh, code for Canon uh, attachment which directly goes to the screws on this lovely cheap is a treasure bush and lump uh, lens so there's IPC here but at the same time you can use this attachment here so practically you have a whole spotting a scope as your telephoto lens amazing